In 1964, driven by a desire to deliver a truly functional folder, my grandfather, Al Buck, introduced the Model 110 Folding Hunter. This American icon revolutionized the industry and has become the most famous imitated knife design of all time. The 110 transformed our marketplace, putting buck knives in the front line of the knife industry, as well as a central tradition among families. Building and designing the 110 Folding Hunter is quite the process. From the rivets and pins, to the bolsters and sanding, the knives undergo many processes until they are buffed, edged, sharpened, and ready for purchase. So let me show you the 110 Folding Hunter. It comes in two different styles, basic or finger groove. The handle material is Macassar Ebony Diamond Wood. It's real wood that's been infused with resin. Lock back design for safety. The brass bolster is beveled for ergonomic comfort. The 420HC stainless steel clip point blade is three and three quarters inches long and 120 thousandths of an inch thick. The knife weighs 7.2 ounces and is made in the USA. The Buck 110 Folding Hunter is a classic, the 57 Chevy of knives. We honor our dedication to quality and function by covering each and every one of our products with our forever warranty. What does the forever warranty mean? It means that we expect each and every buck knife to be free of defects in material or workmanship for the life of the knife. Any buck knife that fails or is defective will be repaired or replaced with a new buck knife free of charge. This is the Ayako from Gerber. We're starting to see Japanese style folders catching on in the EDC community. We wanted to take that look and add some Gerber utility to it. That meant adding a durable steel blade you can access with a unique front flip or a thumb hole nail nick. It's also got machined aluminum scales, a sturdy pocket clip, and is available in two colors. Lightweight and loaded with style, the Ayako has everything the EDC user needs. The Antic Model 8710 a Kershaw Originals design. The Antic measures 5.5 inches in overall length and weighs 3.1 ounces. It opens manually with a thumb stud and features a stainless steel handle with a blue PVD coating. The Antic features an oversized keyring and lanyard hole integrated into the steel backspacer. The blade is 1.75 inches and made of 8CR13 MOV steel with a bead blasted finish. The pocket clip is a single position, tip down carry. To keep the blade securely open, it utilizes a frame lock. The backspacer also includes an integrated screwdriver, pry tip, and bottle opener. Designed to fit the needs of outdoor enthusiasts and climbers, the Rock Jumper is a lightweight, mid-sized folding knife that's born to perform. Its broad VG10 stainless steel blade has a full flat grind for optimal edge geometry and a full length, perfectly straight cutting edge. Designed for unfailing reliability under pressure, its Warncliffe profile offers everything from extreme cutting power to scalpel-like precision. The knife's hand-filling handle is constructed with skeletonized stainless steel liners fiberglass reinforced nylon scales, and a stout backlock mechanism with a strong self-close function. Its bi-directional texture pattern ensures a secure non-slip grip, while a four-position hourglass clip and oversized lanyard hole offer a full range of carry positions. Together with the knife's other symmetrical features, they make every aspect of the Rock Jumper's carry and operation completely ambidextrous. Knives are man's most basic tool. And I carry a knife in my pocket and always have forever. My name is Philip Booth. I'm from Ithaca, Michigan. I am thrilled to have Columbia River making my knives. This one is the Snarky. This is an everyday carry knife. It's actually the knife I carry every day. The Snarky blade shape is a recurved design. You get a nice deep belly here and then a recurve here. So that reverse curve is very aggressive because you get more edge on the blade. It is a flipper mechanism. It locks with a liner lock. The locks are very secure, very tight, no wiggle. 
It's easily closed, making this a one-handed knife. It has black handles. I like this plunge line to go at the same angle as these stainless steel stripes because I like repeating shapes. It just makes it look better. My name is Philip Booth. This is the Snarky. It's not only effective, but extremely good looking. The Buck Knives 112 Auto is an adaptation to the classic 112 Ranger and patterned after the popular 110 Auto. This updated design is great for everyday carry where automatic knife laws allow. Its classic brass bolsters and ebony handles feature a 3 inch 420 HC stainless steel clip point blade that engages with the simple press of a button. Once engaged, the blade locks back for safety. Press the lock down to unlock the blade and carefully fold close. Listen for the audible click to ensure the knife is closed. Perfect for packing or belt carry. The genuine black leather sheath has been redesigned to avoid accidental knife actuation. Made in Post Falls, Idaho. Guaranteed forever, the Buck Knives 112 Auto. This is the Fastball from Gerber. The Fastball was born out of the market's demand for a slim, lightweight, manual finger flip pocket knife. Ball bearings and a precise detent allow the Fastball to operate like a light switch without a spring. The Fastball features an improved Warncliffe blade shape. What that means for the user is enhanced durability and precision at the tip. CPM S30V stainless blade steel provides extreme edge retention and corrosion resistance. The Fastball's handles are CNC machined from aluminum and finished in Type 3 hard anodize. Ambidextrous carry is provided by three pocket clip positions. A liner lock provides secure lockup in the open position and detents the blade closed safely in your pocket. It's available in three colors and two blade finishes. We designed the fastball to be smooth, consistent, and second nature in operation. And it's made right here in the USA. The Epistle, model 2131 a Kershaw Originals design. The epistle measures seven inches in overall length and only weighs 2.1 ounces. It opens manually with a thumb stud and features aluminum handle scales with a clear anodized finish. The epistle also features a glass-filled nylon backspacer. The blade is made of 8CR13 MOV steel with a bead blasted finish. The pocket clip is a single position tip up carry. To keep the blade securely open, it utilizes an inset liner lock. The epistle features a custom asymmetrical pivot with machine texture. The 
The Spy Opera is a utilitarian folding knife designed by Italian custom knife maker Max and originally produced by Lion Steel. Through an exclusive collaboration with Lion Steel, the Spyderco Spy Opera takes this sleek design to the next level by adding a fully accessible trademark round hole and a pocket clip. Its full flat ground blade is crafted from M390 particle metallurgy stainless steel and supported by a sturdy backlock mechanism. The blade is housed in a handle made with skeletonized full titanium liners, beautifully contoured brown canvas micarta scales, and a stainless steel backspacer. The spines of the blade, lockbar, and backspacer are all meticulously crowned and a deep pocket wire clip provides right side tip-up carry. My name is TJ Schwartz, I'm from Boise, Idaho. I designed the Caligo for CRKT. CRKT is a company I'm a big fan of. You can be involved from beginning to end on a singular product like this, and uh, it's something that's pretty rare and a big attractive feature of the company to me. The Caligo is an everyday carry knife. It's a pretty knife, so it's something you can show off to your friends, but also very functional. I would call this probably a drop point. I've heard it called a semi-skinner. Basically, you have a little bit of belly on the front. You have the reinforced tip. It has a swedge along the top, which helps in weight reduction. The size, for me, is what I would believe to be the perfect blade length, filling your hand, but not filling your pocket. And that's a really small window in terms of knife size. This knife opens with a flipper mechanism. So you have this protrusion here, which is actually a part of the blade. You pull back on it. Aided by the IKBS ball bearing system, it's able to open, no spring involved. It's actually just inertia. And to close the knife, there's a lock arm inside this aluminum handle, and it's referred to as a liner locking mechanism. Very common mechanisms, very trusted mechanism, but executed very well here with CRKT. The handle design starts with an ergonomic silhouette. Any finger grooves you might have line up perfectly, and if it hits the light just right, you can see some faint center lines running down it. And this blue ring here really sets off that rich black uh, murdered out look. The pocket clip on this knife is what's called a deep carry clip or a J clip. The advantage that gives you is the ability to drop it down into the pocket all the way to the highest point of the clip, revealing the smallest amount of knife in your pocket. So there you have it, the Caligo.